Hey, welcome back to PlayStation Meeting. We are here. It's only been just an hour or so since the big keynote ended, and we're here with some more graphics experts from gaming. And uh, I want to introduce all of you guys. We have Mikhail here from Guerrilla Games. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got Peter from WB Games. WB Interactive Entertainment, I believe it is, right? That's right, yeah. I looked that up last night. <laughs> and we've got John from Tripwire Games. Uh, uh, Tripwire, Tripwire Interactive. Interactive. I looked That's that right. up last night as well. <laughs> uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Obviously, PS4 Pro, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's the word of the day here. And I wanted to talk a little bit about how PS4 Pro is kind of offering developers a new tool set. Mm -hmm. You know, powerful new tools that you guys could be able to leverage in a bunch of different ways. So we're going to be talking a lot about that here. But fundamentally, you know, what does something like PS4 Pro let you do that, that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise? I'm going to go first. Whoever wants to jump in, it's an open forum here. <laughs> Um, I think that um, we're making Horizon Zero Dawn, which is a, a game that, that it's trying to look like BBC nature documentary almost. <laughs> uh, we're trying to get close to that. And I like that. <laughs> and of course, like, it's, um, this allows to just get that one step closer. I mean, we're already doing really, really well on the, on the normal PS4, uh, but you know, the extra fidelity we can get and the extra color range, um, showing like nature scenes where the sunlight is very important, those are the things are, uh, we can just like take a couple of extra steps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, same, same for the studios that, that I work with, you know, whether it's at Monolith where we're exploring Shadow of Mordor, it's really about player immersion and player choice. Mm -hmm. You know, so we let the player choose between quality or resolution, and if you choose quality, it's pushing draw distances farther than ever. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's, it's really about just trying to immerse the player into those environments and allow them to re-experience Mordor, or like an example like Rocksteady with an Arkham VR, like, you know, getting those scenes crisper on, on uh, PlayStation Pro is going to be really cool. That's a good point. Uh, we haven't talked a lot about it yet today, but PlayStation 4 Pro is going to have benefits for PlayStation VR. Obviously, PlayStation VR absolutely mm -hmm. designed from the ground up for the original PS4, yep. the standard PS4, yep. but PS4 Pro is going to bring some benefits. Yep. Uh, exactly. Crisper, more fluid, and, and things like that, the games that support it. So, yep. great point there. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited, you know, with the PlayStation 4 Pro. You know, I mean, obviously, the big, you know, one of the big benefits is, is 4K, and we've heard a lot about that, and in, in, in our game, we're doing 4K. It looks so cool on a 75-inch <laughs> TV, amazing. I know. But uh, th one of the things that people haven't talked about a lot is HDR. Yeah. You know, in our game, we have a lot of uh, dark and creepy spaces. And traditionally, you've had to really limit how dark you can make a gameplay space in a video game because it, you get that banding. It doesn't look good. So you're kind of blocked at making kind of realistic dark scenarios that a real human being would be able to see in. So in, in dark games like, like we have, um, you can really turn that down, and it looks just like a real dark area would. So there's there's a lot of things that you can do with that, and I think game developers are going to take advantage of that moving forward. Yeah, That's a great point about HDR, and, and let's talk a little bit more about that. But I do want to point out, uh, for those watching at home, uh, this stream is not in HDR, and the footage that you're <laughs> seeing on the stream is not in HDR, uh, and it's not in 4K. So, yeah, thank uh, God. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but, it's a really hard sell, yeah. though, because we, we were looking at it. We, we, no, 4K it sounds like you know got more pixels and HDR. We knew sort of like technically what it would do, and until we got the demo up and running, and you sit down in front of like a really giant TV and you yeah. have it, and you're like, you could actually be playing this at home. And, you know, until you see it, you don't get that impact. Yeah. We can we can show it off a little bit because you can sort of like imagine what it would look like, but um, you really have to see it. Right. Yeah. So we're gonna talk a lot about that. So that's yeah. what we're trying to do is uh, you know h help try to as best we can articulate. Yeah. Uh, things that are not possible to be seen yeah. just yet on, on your phone or on your computer at home. Yeah, no, it, it is so hard to describe, right? Because like when, when I'm playing Shadow of Mordor and I'm in the Sea of Nern and I'm creeping up on an Uruk and I'm in those lush grasses, just how much it, like how that feels mm -hmm. in that super high resolution, just, you know, it makes you want it and it, and it makes me love re-experiencing it. Yeah, I think for us, one of the things that we saw w was when we started playing playing with the PS4 Pro, playing the game that way, in our game, Killing Floor 2, we have some classes that are based around shooting enemies that are really far away. Mm. And, and you know, you think about 4K and higher resolution is just eye candy, but really we started to notice seeing those enemies far away, yeah. they had so much more detail, like, oh, I can see what that is. That's one of these guys, and I need to shoot him now <laughs> instead of this guy. Yeah, <laughs> the so, far aways and the yeah, close-ups. Yeah. You know, yeah. The close-ups and, like, just seeing those details. Yeah, yeah when you see through. the monster in your face yep. and you just see uh, and, you know, they, they're so much more scary when yeah, you see yep. that extra detail. I think it's interesting to hear that like it, it's going to do different things for different games. Like you're talking about dark spaces 
And we have, I mean, we get benefit when we have like both dark shadows on screen and, and bright skies. Yeah. You can keep both of them. Normally, like you have to HDR compress them, so you pick one or the other, and now yeah. we can get both. But like, it sounds like your bias is much more towards the dark one, and we're much more towards the bright one because we have right. much more sunlight. Yeah, we get to play with both because yeah. we have day-night cycles, yeah. and to, to push both as far as we can, we're just getting started. Yeah, yeah for our game, we did, a, we did a lot of work with dynamic lights, so grenades yeah. will blow up lights, and monsters can scream and blow up lights. Yeah. So we have very bright areas. But we had to limit how dark they could get, mm -hmm. right? And now we can we can push that to another level. Yeah, so it's exciting. It's a broader palette at the yeah. end of the day. Basically, There's more exactly. you can do. You've got more, more, light, more freedom. Dark. You've got yeah. more choices as developers. Yeah. And speaking of choice, let's talk a little bit about you know the choice of the users are going to have if they want to pick up PS4 Pro. This is not yeah. something where you need to have a 4K TV right. to get a lot of benefit out of it. And right. quite, quite the contrary, right. I think a lot of people are going to be picking this up that have HD TVs. So let's talk a little bit about some of the benefits you guys are seeing on that front. Yeah, well, I mean, Shadow again is a great example there because what we get we have a resolution mode which is perfect for those players who have that HD TV and the PlayStation Pro. They can still take full advantage of the of the high end textures that we've done and like it smooths out all the edges. Everything just is going to look better because we're pulling from that library of textures on that super high end. So, you, mm -hmm. so either way, you're getting that choice. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, think it's, um, I think the most obvious thing to do, if, if people are, have a, a 1080p TV and they have a PlayStation Pro, um, we can just render out a 4K screen and we, when we then super sample it down to yeah. 1080p, yeah. we were looking at it and it looks, it looks much nicer because that like, yeah. super sampling is like, the best anti-aliasing yep. you can get. It gets all Absolutely. the texture detail, all the shader detail. Mm -hmm. You get like um, much better, uh, much less aliasing and specters and stuff, which is really hard to get. Uh, but we're, I think a lot of developers like us are going to be looking at like with so many knobs to turn. If, if people want 1080p, we can like make the frame rate, well, of course, like we aim to not have a frame drop, but in the you know, they, rare, happens, rare time occasion time, yeah. that it happens, we <laughs> might smooth one of those out. Yeah. Um, we'll probably like, you know, up the resolution of shadow maps. We can do like anisotropic filtering. Uh, so we'll like, mm. we'll, we'll twist all of those knobs until yeah. we'll find something that is really, really good for people who have that TV. And it could also be somebody who has a 4K TV, but they have their couch very far yeah. away. And they go like, you know, I'd rather have an image that like, you know, is better in a different way, but yeah. um, that, that choice message is interesting. John, you have any thoughts there? Yeah, I mean, I think it's you know, for for people with just a standard HD TV, it's it's going to be a smoother gameplay experience. And and as Dave mentioned, you can you can super sample and make everything look everything look more crisp. I mean, there are there's there's really some good advantages, even if you've got a standard HD TV. It's it's, it's an important point, and one I think we're going to be talking a lot more. Uh, in the days to come here. I also want to spend a little bit of time here uh, talking about the future. So, I mean, this has just been revealed today, you know, right. yeah. PlayStation 4 Pro, and we're seeing the earliest work we have seen yet, and it looks really, really good. And so what I'm curious about is, what happens as you guys start to get more time, more hands-on development time with PS4 Pro? What's, what's that going to mean? What, what's your prediction? I think, well, I think that the biggest thing where you see the most advantage of people going to get to grips with HDR color because currently we've been looking at like what, what people do in, in cinema and movie even this is like the cutting edge of where color is a lot of uh, people are not used to grading in in HDR yeah. and we're now getting to grips with that and we can see like we're getting better every month mm. um, or like every week uh, leading up to this conference like and we, we get a toolbox of like you know what we can do with color yeah. and I think it will slowly I don't know what the end result of it will be so far we've seen that everything starts to look nicer we're getting like more more beautiful vistas, the sun and the light, and everything starts to you know yeah. blend together better. Um, yeah. And I think also like you know ways to uh, use 4K uh, better. I mean, we started to add some details extra in certain places, and you you could not see the effect as well on a 1080p TV. So I think we'll just be learning how to you know make better use of like the higher fidelity that we have. Um, yeah, no, totally agree. I uh, didn't mean to cut you off. No, go, go ahead. ahead. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, you know, we're at a studio like NetherRealm where we're experimenting. You know, those, One of my favorites. Yeah, I, love those I mean, guys. Th those fighting scenes, <laughs> you know, for Injustice 2, they always have to be close up and those super moves, but we can really start to explore how much we can push the environments, mm. bring those environments to life. Uh, and also, you know, we would we'll take the cinematics, which, which we sample at a lower frame rate, and we really start to push those cinematics mm. back up to that fighting quality that you yeah. see. So, so we're starting to play with that. And we're just getting started, you know. So I think in HDR, to your point, like is just like experimenting with that color depth. Mm -hmm. You know, that that that's an area we're just starting to explore as game developers. But I think one of the great things uh, uh, for the players is just typically with a console cycle, you have five to eight years, and they yeah, yeah. they really have to wait a really long time before they before they get to experience more power, more something out of the yeah. next generation. I think I think 
having something, you know, what, what, whatever you want to call it, a, a mid-cycle refresh, whatever you want to call it, this is, this is great because gamers are going to be able to exp have experiences they wouldn't have been able yeah. to have mm. without the PS4 Pro. And yeah. I, I'm excited as a developer to create those experiences. Yeah. What's exciting to me here is uh, the fact that, you know, P PlayStation actually just announced that all PS4 is going yes. all the way back yeah. to the very first console sold in 2013 are all getting HDR. Yeah. yeah. I, which is something I was not exactly expecting. Uh, that kind of came out of thin air, but uh, very, very cool, especially because I, I I've been hearing this all day. HDR, HDR, this yeah. is really interesting stuff. I think also for us, we never get new toys in the in the middle of a console cycle like you know you you get you know what you get sometimes you know you, you get more understanding of the console but like sure. something just like completely new um, and exciting halfway through is not yeah. something that you would normally get um, yeah, and it allows us to go back and dial knobs on things we've <laughs> shipped before or go forward and yeah. really explore the future of it. So both ways is exciting. Yeah, and, and you know, like we were talking about, the things you can do with light and dark, you'll be able to do it across both platforms. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and for us, you know, getting a little technical is, you know, our engine already does everything in HDR yeah. behind the scenes. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, so now we have a platform to bring that all the way to the screen. Ah. You almost had to compress it down a yeah, little bit. Yeah, we sort of yeah. had, we did it in HDR, and then we just had to, at the very end to make it not HDR. Yeah. Right. So now we just, hey, send that all the way to the screen. Yeah. yeah. I think exactly. it's similar from, 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 I mean, most engines internally are like physically based or completely HDR. Um, we just have this cap at the end because, you know, you have to deal with a display that cannot display what we internally calculate. Yeah. Um, it, it's also interesting to note, like, what we're seeing here on these HDR sets is something that nobody can, well, it's something that, no, people haven't ever seen before but yeah. because I mean, we're having a problem with the projector because we cinemas cannot display this sort of like color range. This is like more advanced than anything you've ever seen before. The only thing that comes close to it is real life. Mm. So <laughs> um, it's also when you demo it to people, they go like, oh, blah, blah. So when I'm looking at HDR and you turn it off and they go like, wow, that's a really big difference yeah. because it looks so natural, you don't see it. So I mean, maybe that's a pro and a con that it looks so normal that you don't see it. But like once you've seen it you, and you, you can't, you can't unsee it. You can't it. unsee it. You can't, it. can't go back. Can't go yeah. back. Yeah. It's yeah. hard to go back. Yeah. It, yeah. The thing, because the human eye really, when you when it looks at a game, when it looks at something on a screen, it picks up the things that don't look real. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so with HDR, you you, you know, it, it it pulls back the veil. You know, yeah. it looks that much more real because the eye's not picking up that the colors aren't quite right. Yeah. yeah. I I think I might be getting to more sensitive to it now, which is maybe like you know, it's a yeah, uh, might be a shame. That HDR no. sensitivity. <laughs> yeah. We've got a new. Uh, Right. Yeah, new issue here. Right. It is fun to hear all the love for HDR. I mean, everyone's super excited for 4K and, and the high resolutions and all that, and that's, that's kind of a no-brainer. But this HDR thing, I mean, this is a term. I haven't seen it until today. This is my yeah. first time seeing HDR. Really? Yeah. It's my first thing? I work at PlayStation. I think it looks amazing. <laughs> it looks great. And, uh, again, these are, these are games that are in development. They're not, they're not finished. Yeah. So, I mean, this is the, the first taste. It's the first sample. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's a term I've only started hearing in the last couple months. It's so new, but it seems very, very clear it's here to stay. Yeah. I think also it's going to, as you see, like there's a lot of games in development. You're going to see a lot of adoption quite quite soon because it's relatively easy to develop for. And most of our engines internally already do this sort of uh, stuff. Um, I think, yeah, I'd be surprised if not like the vast majority of the games would be yeah in HDR very soon. Interesting. Yeah, and, and, like, and like I said before, it's about bringing those environments to life. So like, like in WB Montreal, where we're exploring mm -hmm. like a DC universe and starting yeah. to push into those boundaries, like imagine how the capes and the lighting and yeah, the yeah, smoke yeah. effects are gonna look. So, sounds like a good fit. Yeah. John, I'm kind of curious from your perspective, because your uh, Tripwire is an independent studio. Yep. So, so what is it like working with a PS4, I mean, or a PS4 Pro? I mean, does this add like a lot of new workload for you guys, or is it relatively streamlined for you to, to work on something like this? So, I I mean, it, you know, I wish I could say it was no work, yeah. but, uh, but with great, you know, every, everything that you want to do takes a little bit of work, but it really wasn't that bad. I mean, we, we, uh, we've got the, we got the kits and we, we, we dove in and, uh, and really it was, you know, started cranking things up, you know, mm -hmm. tried, started finding the boundaries like, okay, we can't quite take it that far, mm -hmm. bring it back. And, uh, but it really wasn't, wasn't too bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. I think it also will get easier over time. I mean, we started to experiment, and there's lots of like sharing between the different developers about rendering yeah. techniques and stuff, and how yeah. to use stuff. And well, that's it. I think within, you know, give it like four or five months time or something, yeah. there will be so much common knowledge in the gaming industry yeah. that people yeah. know how to do yeah. stuff. So it will be even easier. And I think that you'll see the learning curve in like right. how we use it, not not, not getting well, it to run, but actually like what do you do with well, it? Well, that's it. I mean, you talk about not turning back the clock. I mean, you've given this new tool to engineers mm -hmm. and artists. So there's no way to turn back the clock because mm -hmm. they're just diving in and they're making the best use of it. Uh -huh.
That's great. So we're almost out of time, but I wanted to save a, a minute or two to talk about individually each of you. What, mm -hmm. what personally excites you most about working with PS4 Pro? So maybe you could start first, Mikhail. What excites me most? Um, I just like, what excites me most is like seeing something that we've made and we had a vision for what we wanted to achieve and all of a sudden like almost for free, you get something that's closer to what you wanted to achieve. <laughs> it's like, you know, we already put in all the art and everything and we just had to do some coding and then we get something and it looks much more like what we're trying to make. So it's, it's really exciting. Like it's just a better version of your game. It's like, it's still the same, but it's like it's a better Same version. game, yeah. but better, better. Yeah. even better. Yeah. Uh, you know, I always feel like we've done our job well if we develop games that you dream about when you go to sleep. Um, and, and I think that on PlayStation 4, to, to push the power of the graphics, it, you know, it just puts images into the gamers' minds mm -hmm. that, you know, ju are just going to last that much longer, are going to enrich their gaming experience that much more. So, so for us, we're just excited to explore this new power. More, more visu vivid visuals, yeah. yeah. That's something we've been hearing a lot today. John? Yeah, I think, I think for us, you know, when, when you're creating a game, you sort of have this vision in your head of what your game's going to look like when it's done. And, and you always you have to make some compromises along the way, and it doesn't quite look like the way that you wanted when you started. So what excites me about the PlayStation 4 Pro is, is we're so much more closer, closer to that initial vision of what we wanted the game to look like. Yeah. And I think the, the gamers will really see that and appreciate it. They'll see it in the high-resolution textures and the 4K and the HDR and the smoother frame rates and all the benefits they're going to get. So fewer constraints, fewer boundaries. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. I like Raising that. The bar. Gents, I really appreciate you joining us here today. You're Thanks for your time. I hope you all get a chance to go, about, go, go about, uh, out back here and check out all the different games that are playing. Awesome. PlayStation.